Hi everyone, thanks for listening to all my presentations. Today I'll be talking about naltriptyline, a tricyclic antidepressant, and some of us are uncomfortable prescribing any of the tricyclic antidepressants because of the horrible side effects, particularly on the cardiovascular system and all those anticholinergic side effects. You will see all those right here while listening to this presentation. But nortriptyline is preferred if an elderly must take tricyclic antidepressant. I'm not here to campaign for nortriptyline, and I'm not here to campaign against the rest tricyclic antidepressants. The judgment should be based on facts. You are free to contact any pharmacologist, clinical pharmacologist, pharmacist, or your psychiatrist. If you must prescribe this to patient as a healthcare provider, or if you're a patient on these medication, listen to this presentation from beginning to the end and have your second opinion as you may choose to. Now, treatment could come under different brand names. It could be Pamela, Apple, not treatment, Aventil, PMS, not treatment, or Teva, not treatment. It depends on your country or your jurisdiction, but this is not the end of the list. It belongs to class of medications known as antidepressant, and specifically to a tricyclic antidepressant. But under some literature, you could see it as being written as a tricyclic secondary MI antidepressant. Now, treatment could appear in various forms, could be in form of capsule per aura. And in that case, you're going to find that under Pamela, 10 mg, 25 mg, 50 mg, or 75 mg. And it could be generic as 10, 25, 50, or 75 milligram. Aventil could also come in form of capsule per aura at 10 milligram or 25 milligram. It could be in form of solution per aura, and you find that on the generic as 10 milligram per 5 mil. Administration. Now, treatment could be administered with or without food. It should be given every morning for attention deficit and operative disorder. Or you may choose to give it both in the morning and evening time. But for the purpose of anorexis and pain, it is advisable that you give it at the bedtime. Note this. There should be no sudden discontinuation of no tripling. We have to tip out gradually, as a matter of fact, for a long time, like two to three weeks, particularly if the patient had been on this medication for more than three weeks, or, yeah, three weeks or more. If we are stopping or titling to start monoamine or days in beta, then there should be two weeks in between the stoppage and the beginning of monoamine oxidase in beta and vice versa. If we inadvertently or because we don't know, we stop not treating it suddenly, of course there will be consequences. And what are the effects? There could be nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, headaches, lightheadedness, dizziness, decreased appetite, swelling, chills, tremors, paresthesia, fatigue, somnolency, and vivid dreams. That's not the end of the list. Sudden stoppage could also lead to insomnia, electric shock-like sensations, cardiac arrhythmias, extrapyramidal-like symptoms, aggressiveness, panic attacks, dysphoria, depersonalization, confusion, or hyperactivity. You could see, while getting to this you know, trouble, if we can just you know, taper off gradually. Uses. 
Nortriclin is pretty helpful in the face of unipolar major depression, in chronic pain, in diabetic neuropathy, in myofascial pain or orofacial pain. Also helpful in post fatigue neuralgia, smoking cessation. You can even check my channel for full presentation on smoking cessation. Also in tension deficit and operative disorder. In anorexis, now treatment will be useful here. What are the possible adverse reactions? Generally, tricyclic antidepressants will no, wasn't acute myocardial ischemia. Could lead to arrhythmia with palpitations from tachycardia. Lead to stroke or is now known as cerebrovascular accident. Heart block, abstention, dizziness or drowsiness, headache, anxiety or ataxia. Other possible adverse reactions will include confusion, dilution, Apomania, scissors, psychosis, photosensitivity leading to urticaria, alopecia, or diaphoresis. Still on adverse reactions, there may be decreased libido, decreased glucose. That may be an advantage in hyperglycemia, but you need to monitor, right? Galatoria, canicomastia. And in some, it might be increased libido, increase or decrease around glucose in some, and syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, weight gain or weight loss. It depends. Other adverse reactions could include gastrointestinal tract problem. Then we can have dry mouth, cramps, anorexia, constipation, Diarrhea, particularly from paralytic ileus, tremor, urinary retention, cholestatic jaundice, hair granulocytosis, decreased platelets, and parotid swelling. Still on adverse reactions tinnitus, blood vision, eye pain, midriasis, disturbed accommodation, angle closure of glaucoma, increased suicidal radiation or suicidal tendencies. Contraindications have sensitivity to nortritiline or to any component of the formulation. Also, if you are dealing with any of the monoamine oxidase inhibitors, if you have taken any of them in the last two weeks, you don't take nortritiline right now. Or if there's that plan to start monoamine oxidase inhibitor in the next two weeks, don't take nortritiline right now. Also, in children less than six years, no nortriplan. One, here we just need to remind ourselves of the necessary precautions that we must take. Let's remember that suicide addiction will be on the increase if we prescribe this medication to adolescents and young adults. And all pediatric age groups taking nortriclin for major depressive disorder should be monitored very closely. There is that increased possibility of suicidal thought, attempted suicide, and even frank suicide. Nortriclin is contraindicated, and I'm repeating that again in younger children, particularly less than six years. So, if I'm concerned, about suicide, other suicidal behavior, tendencies, attempted suicide and frank suicide will be on the increase in pediatric age group, then how do we you know, handle that? We have to be monitoring you know, those pediatric age group that are on this medication, if at all, they have to be on it. In that case, we have to advise the family members and caregivers to keep an eye on them. And what are they going to be checking out for? Okay, anxiety, impulsivity, agitation, acartesia, panic attacks, insomnia, irritability, full-blown mania, or hypomania. Those are the signs of suicidal behavior. 
Part of the warnings is that we have to remind ourselves of severe anticholinergic effects of all tricyclic antidepressants. And nortritling is an example. So we could be dealing with constipation, urinary retention, blood vision, xerostomia. And there should be no nortritling in paralytic iris, in urinary retention, in anyone with BPH or anyone with visual disturbances or having dry mouth. So there should be a warning about central nervous system depression. So, no machinery operation. There's likelihood of fractures more often. So, anyone on no treatment should not be driving. Part of the warnings will include hematological problems, the likelihood of bone marrow suppression, and also in ophthalmic region there may be pupillary dilatation or narrow angle glaucoma. And we should remind ourselves of the probability of autostatic hypotension. We may run into serotonin syndrome. And prevention, they say, is cheaper than cure. If that is the case, then we have to get against certain things, like we don't use this medication with serotonergic agents. And the serotonergic agents will include triptans, other tricyclic antidepressants, ventanil, lithium, tramadol, St. John Watt, tryptophan, or there should be no monoamine oxidase in beta that can impair the metabolism of serotonin. We should remind ourselves also that we may run into syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone and aponitrin. We have to be careful in cardiovascular diseases. It can alter the glucose metabolism and can worsen seizure disorder. Now, treatment is not FDA approved for the treatment of bipolar depression. In other words, we don't use it here. I mean, in bipolar depression, we only use it in unipolar major depressive disorder. Drug drug interaction. I will just limit this to uh, advise that you contact your pharmacist and your clinical pharmacologist for your discretion and the psychiatrist. electroconvulsive therapy or surgery. In case this patient will have to take electroconvulsive therapy, we have to discontinue not treatment before then. And also in surgery, we have to discontinue not treatment before surgery. Examples of where we can use not treatment. In unipolar major depressive disorder, we can give nortritling at 25 mg once daily. We can increase to three times daily or four times daily, and the maximum dose is expected to be 150 mg per day. In chronic pain or diabetic mellitus neuropathic pain, we can give nortritling between 10 to 20 mg at hour of sleep or 25 milligram at hour of sleep. We can increase that, I mean, the dosage every three days for the maximum of 150 milligram per day. In smoking cessation, in anyone who had smoked for greater than 12 weeks, we can give no treatment in 25 milligram once daily, and we should start at about 10 to 28 days before the day that the individual has planned to quit. Then we'll titrate the dose to 75 to 100 mg per day for about 12 weeks and more. In attention deficit and operative disorder, particularly in children greater than 6 years and adolescents, remember, I said it earlier that in children less than six years, no nortriptyl in place. So, the child is greater than six years, or this is an adolescent, okay? 
we can give nortrifiline at 0.5 mg per kilogram per day and we may increase that by 0.5 mg per kilogram per day every week. The maximum dose is expected to be 2 mg per kilogram per day or we sum it up to be 100 mg per day. And before rounding off, I need to remind you again that out of all tricyclic antidepressants, nortriptyline is better in elderly patients. And with that, I've come to the end of this presentation. Thanks for listening. Remember to share. Remember to subscribe. And you can leave your comment or comments. I appreciate it.